Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 vintage other sports category cards that sold on eBay in the last week. So these are cards from all sports except for baseball, basketball, football, and hockey. Got an awesome top 10 here for you. But as always, I always include a great selection of bonus listings at the end as well. You don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end. All right, let's not waste any more time and get into the good stuff. All right, getting us started off in the 10th spot from 1958 Swedish Record Journal. We have a hand-cut Pele graded at PSA 4. This car sold at auction for $2,125. It's a pop of 28 in a PSA 4 slab, and there are 74 graded higher with the high speed and two gem mint PSA 10s. wonder what those gem mint 10s would go for. In the number 9 spot from 1990 Sports Illustrated for Kids, we have a Tony Hawk rookie card graded at Mint PSA 9. This was a fixed price sale for $2,500. There's a pop of 16 in a Mint Slab and there are two higher graded Gem Mint PSA 10s. In the number 8 spot from 1982 Wrestling All-Star Series A, we have Hulk Hogan graded at EX Mint PSA 6. This car sold at auction for $2,655. It's a pop of 83. In a PSA 6 slab, there are 163 graded higher, with the highest being 16 Mint 9s. In the number 7 spot from also 1982 Wrestling All-Star Series A, we have Ric Flair, graded a Near Mint Mint PSA 8. This car sold at auction for $2,850. And a PSA 8 slab, it's a pop of 73. And there are 58 graded higher, with the highest being 6 Gem Mint PSA 10s. In the number 6 spot from 1958, Editora Aquarela Brazil. We have a Pele Black number graded a BVG 2.5. And this was a fixed price sale for $3,727.10. That is a pop one in a BVG 2.5 slab. And there are three graded higher, with the highest being one BVG 5. In the number 5 spot from 1996 Sports Illustrated for Kids, we have Tiger Woods Rookie Card, graded in Mint PSA 9. This card sold at auction for $3,750. It's a pop of 194 in a Mint Slab. There are 23 higher graded Gem Mint PSA 10s. In the number 4 spot from 1986 Panini Super Sport Italian, we have a Mike Tyson Rookie Card. Graded a Near Mint Mint Plus BGS 8.5 and it sold at auction for $3,948. Subgrades were 9.5 for corners and edges, 9 for centering, and an 8 for surface. I don't have the pop report breakdown for this one. I think Beckett's doing a bunch of changes on their website and their pop reports and stuff. And this one came up blank, which is unusual but i think it's a result of some of the changes they're doing because i know that there was a pop report for this before because i had looked it up before but now it's not there all right time to see what we have in the top three but before we do if you guys need any hobby supplies make sure you check out bcw supplies there's a link in the description below use the code junkwax10 and you can save 10 percent on your next order in the number three spot from 1979 Panini Calciatore, we have a Diego Maradona rookie card graded in Near Mint Plus SGC 7.5, and it was a fixed price sale for $4,000. As a pop one in an SGC 7.5 slab, and there are none graded higher. In the number two spot from 1991 Classic WWF, look at this. I can't believe this sale. The Undertaker rookie card graded gem in PSA 10 sold at auction for $5,566.87 for a 1991 classic WWF card. Wow. It is a pop of only three in a gem mint slab. That is amazing. And top of the list this week in the number one spot from 1997 Browns Boxing, we have Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s rookie card autographed, 
graded a gem in BGS 9.5 with a 10 grade for the auto. That is one of the finest examples out there. This was a fixed price sale for $14,200. In gem mint condition, this card is a pop 16 and there's only one higher graded pristine 10. Subgrades for this were 10 for centering, 9.5 for corners and surface, and a 9 for edges. All right, that's it for the top 10 for the last two weeks. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite card was. That's some pretty awesome early rookie card soccer cards here with the Diego Maradona, a couple Pele's. However, for me, how can I not pick the 1991 Classic WWF Undertaker rookie card? Gem Mint Slab, pop of only three. Wow. All right, let's check out some bonus cards. First up, from 1949. This is an old one here. Football USA Mexico Cuba World Cup sticker album. This was a qualifier for the North American and Caribbean teams for the World Cup in 1950 in Brazil. The album contains 63 of the stickers, only missing two. It was a fixed price sale for $4,995. I'm not going to lie and pretend that I know any of the soccer players in this. However, it's such a huge sport internationally with a great hobby base that keeps growing. I'm not surprised that something like this that's more than 70 some years old found a new home and went for a pretty good price. 5000 bucks. Such an awesome, unique item. From 1966 Panini Calciatore, we have a Bobby Moore graded in Near Mint Mint CSG 8 and it sold at auction for $51. It is a Pop 1 and a CSG 8 and it's the only one graded with CSG. There's only been 7 graded with PSA, so pretty low pop report all around. And the highest over there is a Near Mint Mint PSA 8 as well. No, re Really no sales on record though. A PSA 5 sold in February of 2021 for 90 bucks. So it's probably a pretty good buy for a CSG 8. From 1999 Sports Illustrated for Kids, we have the Serena Williams rookie card graded at PSA 6. This card sold at auction for $302. It is a Pop 17 in a PSA 6 with 60 graded higher, uh, with the highest being 8 gem in PSA 10s. Serena obviously recently announced her retirement. Putting an end to a long successful tennis career with 23 Grand Slam wins. From 1973 Panini Champions of Sport, we have a George Foreman in raw condition. Sold at auction for $203.50. Great looking box and sticker. I believe this could be considered George Foreman's rookie card or rookie sticker. I don't think there's anything earlier than this one, 1973. There's been 40 of these graded with PSA, and we're talking 400 to 500 bucks for PSA 6s. In the last couple years, I've even seen a sale of a PSA 3 for $229 a couple years ago. So I don't think 203 bucks for a raw copy is unreasonable. From 1993 Fax Packs World of Sport, we have a John McEnroe graded gem in PSA 10 sold at auction for $70. And a gem mint slab, this is a low pop of only six. From 1973-74 Panini Champions of Sport, we have a Jack Nicholas. I believe same set from the George Foreman. This one here graded a PSA 4 and sold at auction for $733. It's a pop 9 and a PSA 4 slab with 87 graded higher, with the highest being four gem mint PSA 10s. From 1992 Brindley World Boxers, we have a Mike Tyson odd looking card here, graded near mint plus SGC 7.5, and it sold at auction for $113.50. As a pop one and a 7.5 slab, but they're three graded higher, with the highest being one mint nine. From 1909 James Jeffries Playing Cards, we have a John L. Sullivan King of Diamonds. Graded a PSA 6 and it sold at auction for $89. This is a Pop 4 in a PSA 6 slab. There's 25 graded higher with the highest being 4 gem in PSA 10s. 89 bucks for a 113 year old playing card. That's pretty awesome. From 1999 Wheels High Gear, we have a Dale Earnhardt Mile Per Hour Parallel, number 8 out of 100 in raw condition, sold at auction for $13.01. I still can't get over how 
cheap a lot of these 90s NASCAR cards are. There's so many cool relic cards and low numbered parallels like this one here. 13 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. From 1983, Tops, an M&M's Olympic card of Cassius Clay, graded a near mint mint PSA 8 and sold at auction for $51. It's a pop of 101 in a PSA 8 slab. There are 111 graded higher with the highest being 29 gem in PSA 10s. From 1935, this is listed as a Wheaties cereal box back panel of Babe Didrikson in raw condition. Sold at auction for $260. This actually looks to be in pretty good condition for a 1935 Wheaties hand cut. Looking up, trying to find a pop or something or other information, it seems like uh, in PSA there's a 1935 Wheaties All-Americans of 34 hand cut. However, the only one that is in the pop report is a Don Hudson with 6 graded. And the only sale on record was a PSA Authentic. So not even with a numerical grade, it's a pretty roughly cut out one. And it sold in 2021 for 312 bucks. From 1986 Scanlon's Motor Racing, we have an Ayrton Senna graded a near mint SGC7 and sold at auction for $1,257. This Australian racing car is a pop four and a near mint seven, and there are four graded higher, with the highest being two near mint mint SGC8s. From 1948 Topps Magic Photo, we have a Sugar Ray Robinson graded a EX SGC5 and is sold at auction for $264.99. This is a pop two and an SGC5 slab, and there's only one higher graded EX Plus 5.5. From 1954 A and B C All Sport Series, we have a Sandor Coxus graded a PSA 1.5 and it sold at auction for $58. This is a pop of only one and a 1.5, and there are nine graded higher with the highest being one near mint mint PSA 8. From 1902 Will's Cigarettes, we have a William Meredith graded an SGC EX5 and it sold at auction for $919.93. This 120-year-old football card is a pop at 2 in a SGC5 slab and there's one higher graded near mint mint SGC8. From 1993 Champions of Golf Masters Collection, we have the 1962 Arnold Palmer graded a gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $355. This in a gem in slab is a pop of only two, as we know from the Tiger Woods from this set. These are tough condition sensitive cards to get in gem in condition. From 1992 Impel Olympic cards, we have a Michael Johnson graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $124.72. And a gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 32. From 1910, Mecca Cigarettes T218, we have Alex Smith graded an SGC EX5 and it sold at auction for $99.95. Awesome looking vintage golf card here, it's a pop of 4 in an SGC5 slab. And there are 5 graded higher with the highest being 1 near mint 7. From 1978, Amada Kings of the Square Ring, we have a large Andre the Giant headlock, graded an EX Plus SGC 5.5, and it sold at auction for $69.51. I've never seen this one before. It's a Pop 1 in an SGC 5.5 slab, and there are two graded higher, with the highest being 1 Mint 9. This looks like a tough one to find in mint condition. And we're going to finish it up with something pretty neat here. This is a 1966-67 Panini Champions of Sport unopened pack. This, car, this uh, pack sold at auction, single pack, for $470. So these Panini sticker set from 66-67 is full of F1 soccer, boxing. You got Bruce McLaren, you got Pele, you got Cassius Clay in there, Sonny Liston. Lots of awesome very collectible stickers you could pull from it however the chances of pulling one of those are pretty low i think it's a pretty huge sticker set so i believe you'd be better off just leaving this unopened 
slab it up and keep it for the unopened wax collectors. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay partner network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. Pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app, and you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.